Well, let's see. My name is Crystal with a K, Mrs. Sherry, my second marriage, and my uh, school name was uh, Rachel Dominguez, 59A. And I had, uh, because there was an, an, a Rachel Dominguez who was a criminal at the time, and um, they advised me to use, uh, a, get a, a middle initial. So I put K for, for uh, Crystal because I always liked the name Crystal with a K. Okay. So your full name is Rachel Crystal Dominguez? Or? No. My full name now is uh, Crystal Miso Shiri, second marriage. And uh, my, the, uh, my uh, nursing name was Rachel Dominguez, 59A. How old were you when you first thought of becoming a nurse? Uh, when did you definitely decide to become a nurse? And what influenced this decision? I was on campus at LACC taking my prerequisites for entering USC. And I met the nursing uh, students from California Hospital. Uh, and uh, I was 19. And it was then I became, I went to visit my grandmother and I became very ill from the county health shot, the typhoid shot, and so I missed a whole year of entrance. So I would have graduated with the class of, oh, well, at least Getter's class, I don't remember, maybe two years after that. But when I met the girls on campus at LACC, they were so wonderful, and there were a bunch of them. And I kind of liked their little proby uniforms, you know. <laughs> and that's all I remember. And then it gave me a focus for my future. What were the proby uniforms like? They were uh, very long, 12 inches from the ground, and they were they had a nice tight belt, and um, uh, they were very attractive for the insignia, and that's about it. I have very little. Uh, I have very little background knowledge because my f family placed me on orphanages, you know, Watts, um, Cumming Street in LA, that's by the old Chinatown, things like that. So I did my best, but the one good thing that I had was uh, at the, the last orphanage I had, I met Caroline Mitchell, who really talked to me and guided me into an education and mannerisms and everything else, and I owe her who I am today. I worked every chance I had. I had like four jobs clerking at uh, Cedars of Lebanon Hospital. I had a waitress job that we kept all our tips, and I used to get bonuses because, uh, as you know, the uh, Cedars of Lebanon, uh, where all the movie stars used to go and stuff, and the doctor's lounges where they placed me, and that was the best. I used to get big bonuses every year, sometimes extra tips all the time. Did you see any celebrities at Cedars? Yes, of Ben Johnson, Elizabeth Taylor. I saw, um, I danced and saw Gregory Peck. He's six six or six whatever. He was so tall. You danced with him? Well, on on the Christmas at the Christmas party, and uh, yes, and um, let's see. I saw Charlton Heston, who gave me a year's purchase of the Music Center tickets, second row seat orchestra. <laughs> I waitressed at the Italian Bistro that was on Melrose. And what year was this? This was, uh, uh, let's see, I was, uh, well, I was born in 35, so I was 17. And this is while you were in nursing school? Or is this something you did No, prior? no, this is prior. But yeah. I was going to, uh, to get my prerequisites in for nursing school because the girls told me exactly what I needed. And so that's why I had to work a lot and I paid it all. I chose California Hospital School of Nursing because it had excellent accreditation and because the girls suggested that and because they took me and introduced me to um, Mrs. Nic Miss Nicholas 
uh, who was that was the director, and I just could hardly wait. It was great. I recall that I went into Miss Nicholas' office with the lady that was going to take me to where I was going to be tested, and um, I can't remember her name. I don't know why I thought it was Barbara Jury, but maybe not because she, I don't remember the lady's name that took me around. Larson Hall, I think the down, downstairs, they had a, like where people uh, roomed upstairs and I guess it was downstairs at a little round table. I don't remember, that's not too clear because uh, it went so fast. Well, I loved everything about the new experience, the focus I had, because I love babies and they were talking about, you know, we have a big nursery and uh, 30 bassinets and then we had, Miss Headley was just starting the premature care of the nurse, the care of the premature infant department, which was tiny. So I had a lot of aspirations and uh, background incentives to want to just follow through and get do well in my nursing and get on with it. Uh, what are your early memories of your first classes at the School of Nursing? <laughs> well, my weakest subject was mathematics and I had Miss Tobins whom I adored. She actually uh, I was kind of timid and shy and I was kind of teary-eyed like one of my grandchildren and so she was uh, responsible for making me grow up and do well. She got tutors for me and um, I loved it. She was very strict but she was one of the best if not the best. That's great. Uh, so what was the California hospital like when you arrived? When I arrived, it was, we had our classes at Larson Hall. Uh, they showed me Moore Hall, where I was issued a room with a roommate. And it was within walking distance. And um, they did the, our laundry, <laughs> not all our intimate laundry, but our Uniform, probably uniforms. <clears throat> um, if applicable, uh, what do you remember about moving into the dorm? Did you have a roommate? Was she someone you already knew? And what was your first encounter like? Well, I got all the things that were issued to me on the list to have, and my little suitcase that I still have, and um, my clock radio and my favorite soap. They were just starting out with zest. <laughs> and um, when I put on the proby uniform, no cap, and it was our first six months, they had a big accident. I remember at uh, one of the school buses, a Catholic school bus, overturning the Chavez Ravine. And we were standing there with our new watches and everything, and the seniors were running, oh, let me have your watch. And I'm just, sure, whatever. And uh, it was a sad day. But um, uh, I felt I was part of a group that was going to be forever. Uh, let's see, if applicable, uh, what are some of your favorite memories of dormitory life? You know, what social events stand out in your memory? You know your memories of study hours, lockout, house mothers? Miss Adams was our house mother. She was great. A disciplinarian, she took care of us. The elevator squeaked so there was no way we could lie what time we came in. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so uh, my memories of Moore Hall were great because we had the downstairs where there was a piano and I liked to tinker with it, you know, chopsticks. And um, then the big thing was Nat King Cole's uh, TV hour. And um, we all talked about our studies and all that. And we had study hours in our rooms. And eventually we all grouped, like um, 
to study together downstairs where the telly was set up. And um, we helped one another. I loved that. But they had a kitchen, a little galley-like, but I was never a cook. I couldn't even make a taco, nothing. So uh, one of our uh, friends, uh, acquaintance there, all my friends I met there, um, she would cook, uh, and that was all I remember about it. All right. Um, what are some of your favorite memories of the time spent in the library during study hours after class and doing research? Being told to be quiet. <laughs> And that they had a good library, and if there was more we needed, we had access to the medical library, which the doctors were kind enough to allow certain books to be used. And um, our sponsor was Dr. Buell, and uh, he was a great sponsor. Took us to his home, took us everywhere. I loved it all. All right. Uh where were you living before you came to California Hospital? It's different from Southern California. Mm -hmm. What were your first impressions of the place? Well, I would make visitations to 89th Street and um, 89th Street and um, near John C. Fremont High School. I would visit my family, which I didn't know too well because I was living in the orphanages where they put me. But when I left the orphanage at age 14, uh, I went to live in the hotel on Fountain Street in Hollywood because it was near my job, Cedars of Lebanon and my uh, Melrose. At East. 14? Huh? At 14? No, no, when I left, then I got, uh, an, uh, I had an acquaintance I had met uh, she was about four years older. She left the orphanage sooner, and um, I moved into her apartment, and I started working, so I was able to pay her a little money. How old were you when you moved out? Of the orphanage? Yes. Fourteen. So, uh, back to our previous question. Uh, what was downtown Los Angeles like when you arrived? Well, um, we had the red trolley and the yellow trolley. That was different then. And uh, on days when we had off, a bunch of us would walk, you know, to uh, Pico. You could catch a trolley and go into downtown L.A. And especially around Christmas was my favorite because they had those windows with all the Christmas stuff going on. That's what I remember. And the streets were not as clean as they are now. Oh. Okay. Uh, what are your first memories of your already clinical experience? Hmm. Well, we had affiliations. We they didn't begin until the junior year, but we had. Um, I loved the clinical uh, patient care. I got to meet a lot of nice people who were in the hospital. Learned to do everything to help them, and uh, Miss Tovas really gave us a good training, so we knew exactly what to do. But we still had the supervisors to assist us if the need arose. But um, I loved it. Right. Uh, what are your memories of your capping ceremony? Walking to the Lutheran Hospital, and it was chilly, and um, had on our, our caps and our uh, capes and our candle that we had to carry. And um, cars would honk, and it was nice. It was nice. We were all in double lines walking to the church for our capping ceremonies. All right. Um, what were your favorite classes in nursing school, and why? I liked. Let's see, in nursing school, clinical. I always volunteered to be the dummy <laughs> and learning how to uh, how to the procedure of injections, the size of the hub of the needles and all that. I liked that and uh, just uh, learned patient care. Um, 